Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be looking at email send command from email package. So we will be looking at this send action and we will demonstrate using send action along with Gmail. So how you can send email, we will have a look at it using Gmail as an email provider. So first of all, in order to use this send uh, command or send action you need to do some settings for example in your Gmail account you, you need to head over to securities and click on app password once you click on app so it, it again asks you for the password and once you log in you need to create an app so from the, from these options you can create like which application you want to use so in this case it's our email application so we have selected mail you need to select mail application and then which device uh, so we are working on com windows computer so windows computer i have already created this so we'll be using uh, once you click the application and the device and click on generate button it give it will give you a password which you can use to create for your email account so right now there's no mail and here we will now see we will send one email right so let's me let me switch to list view and here we will we will try to demonstrate rather than sending one test mail let's try something um, interesting maybe we can we can try an OTP generator okay so here uh, in the email we want to send a OTP number how you will uh, generate an OTP number we will try to use a random action from the number package so in number package we have random action let's specify the range so 1001 maybe and here 9999 so from 1001 to 9099 in between that any random number will be generated every time we run this bot and that we can assign to one of the variable i have created two variables one is generate otp and one is password so password is of type credential it's credential type variable which uh, in which i have i have added the app password so the password which was generated from this Google security, I have added that over here. That will be used for connecting to the email and uh, sending the email from, G from Gmail. And the generated OTP is the number type of variable which will hold a data um, a value from this range. So here, let's assign generate OTP. Okay, and then we will send an email to rpa feed at the rate gmail.com, no CC. And here we can write OTP generated and we don't have any attachments if you need to attach any file you can click this option and also click on validate the attachment option our message is plain text you can also select HTML in that case you can embed your tags like bold and italic or something like that but let's keep plain text as of now so uh, your OTP is we can pass on that OTP from generated OTP and since it's a, a number variable need to convert it into string using two string method and here we can this is already checked check in you can untick or let let it be like that in emails uh, here email server we have email server option outlook and EWS so for for Gmail we will be using email server from address again RPA feed at the rate gmail.com and email server would be smtp.gmail.com this is used for sending the emails port number is 587 you can google these settings easily uh, they are available so for which uh, gmail uh, what you need to use for hotmail for yahoo there are different types of set uh, settings email hosts you can use that and we will keep this true because we are using username password to connect so our secure uh, our authentication is required for our email server and we are using secure connection and here in the username i'll provide my username directly you can configure that uh, and take this from a variable or credential locker uh, we are hard coding it and here i have already created one variable credential variable this is password pwd and we are all set for sending the email now let me also include one message box here just uh, we get to know that mail is sent so that we can check the email box here let me write email sent and and the OTP is uh, we can also print the OTP here so all set within three lines we are done actually it's only two lines of 
uh, code for OTP generator and sending the email. So let's run this now. So this should give us a random OTP and we will be able to receive that in an email. So this is a basic uh, example. I just wanted to show you how you can send email using Gmail. So email sent OTP is 8782. Let's check our email. Uh, we haven't received it as of now. So let's try to check that. And yes, we got the OTP. OTP is 8782 and this is the go green message. Now let's try to run this bot again. So it will generate the number dynamically. So it's not the same number every time. But yeah, this is not a full fledged OTP solution because in OTP, uh, OTP number is has some time duration, right? It expires, but this is not something like that. We can implement it on a large scale. But uh, right now, the functionality was to just demonstrate email send functionality and using Gmail as an server email server. So right now 7067 is the OTP. It's already sent bot is executed successfully. And we should be able to see the new OTP 7067. So yeah, that's was that set about the email send action of from the email package. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. In case you do, please like to our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.